it does include a thirty-two uh, million dollar overall cut to um, colleges and universities. How how do you think they'll react to that? Well, the total dollar amount and the percentage increase includes all sources of funding, uh, but it doesn't take into consideration the money that we plowed back last year into higher education through the ARRA funding, which was about 13, 15 million, I believe. So I think that's important for people to understand that when we talk about a budget reduction, that is true, but we, we also, in all of the agency, in most all of them, replaced that with temporary one-time stimulus dollars. Um, after this year, that, that has been depleted, and we will be starting our budgets at a lower revenue, but the belief and the hope for everybody is that our revenue numbers will go back up and, and that we won't have to have any further reductions and we'll be able to start rebuilding those, those critical budgets in education. And have you talked to any of the leaders at the universities about how they all, like, how, what they'll do now that they've, like, with, with the lower budget? Well, I know, I acknowledge and I recognize that it's going to be difficult for them. Yes, I have talked to them and we, we hear about things that are happening across the state, furloughs with the, some of the professors, some of the departments are being consolidated, programs are being downsized. So, yes, I'm, I'm fully aware of how this is affecting their operations. And, I, and it is going to be difficult and challenging for them, but hopefully it is just just something that we're you know going to have to deal with on a for one more year and get through these tough times. A positive note: we did set up in in the House of Representatives yesterday. We did establish a higher education stabilization fund, similar to what we did for public schools, to, and we will start replenishing. Put, putting some money into that fund to protect the universities from any further or additional economic downturn. So we're learning from some of these experiences and doing the best that we can to mitigate the, the impact. Okay, and then there is, you, you mentioned there's, uh, I think, the, the Center for Advanced Energy Studies, it looked like there was about $4 million in stimulus money that could go to that. Have you talked to the state board? Do you know if that's likely to be put in there? Well, it will be in there. And it's just the way the intent language is written is just, um, and there's a formula, and I could show you in the budget book, there's a formula for each institution, kind of a dollar amount, broken up for different things, operating costs, personnel, and programs. There's a formula, so I'm, I'm, it's my sense that the state board will, pr will try to follow that formula as much as possible to distribute the money out to those, those institutions and that the money that's available for Center for Advanced Energy Center will be equally distributed through the three universities. That's why we felt like it was important to put that language in there, that it would be equally distributed between the three universities because the other formula for the general programs, it, there's there's a f formula, I don't know exactly how they ar arrived at that, but, but some, and it could be based on the student enrollment, but some of the universities probably, um, and we could look at that if you want that detail, but it's probably based on student enrollment and the needs for, so if there's a one school that has more of a demand, they will probably most likely get a greater share of the, the first part of the ARRA funding. Okay.